Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new flight controller and this is the all-in-one flight controller. It just came out not too long ago on Banggood. I've seen it um, like maybe three weeks ago now. So uh, it looked pretty cool. So I had to get one just to test it out. So um, I do love all-in-one flight controllers. It's just It just makes my life a lot easier. Some people hate them, some people love them. It's a love-hate relationship, I guess. Anyways, let's get started. So let's just see what it comes with, first of all. First, they do provide you with two silicone wires and they are colored, so that's very good. And I believe these are probably a 14 or 12 gauge. It doesn't really say, but they're pretty thick, so they're pretty good here. So that's very nice of them. And they give you two heat shrinks up here. So once you finish soldering your wire, you could just stick it right there through your wire and it'll give you a nice clean job to your XD60. So that's very nice of them, very thoughtful. All right, and they do provide us with a buzzer. So that's good if you do like buzzers. And they give you our rubber dampeners. They only give you four here, so um, yeah. And they do have a pretty fat hole size. They're easy to put through. I already tried to put one in. It was pretty simple, so uh, that's very good. So let's put these guys to the side here and let's get started. So this is the F4 all-in-one flight controller. And it's, I guess the company is called B6. So I don't know, this, I guess it's a new company here. I haven't seen it before. But anyway, so this is an F4 processor. It's rocking the Omnibus firmware. And it does have beta flight OSD on board. So that's pretty sweet. Um, as you can tell, it is an all-in-one flight controller and does have current sensing. So that's pretty cool. It does take a two to a six S LiPo. And well, let's just take a look at it here. So just looking at it, and you will see it's it's a bit bigger than the average size flight controller and bigger than the average sized all-in-one flight controller. So this is a, just a normal flight controller, it's not an all-in-one. So it is a tad bit bigger. Um, so you have to very much think this through if you're going to put it on a quadcopter. Um, you know, you just have to take the size into consideration. Taking a look at the back here, it does have a nice sick graphic here, so it's pretty cool. Uh, not that anyone's ever going to see it, but it's there. So that's pretty nice of them. All right. So let's begin with the pads. So we have the arrow up here and it's telling us this is the front of the quad. So that's cool, okay. So we do have the battery pads in the back and they're pretty big, so that's very good for soldering. Um, if you're not good at soldering, this is gonna be very cool for you. Uh, we have, wow, ground five volt S bus. That's pretty cool right there. So that just makes it super easy for you. Look at that, how they set them up for you. And they're pretty big as well. So you're not gonna have a hard time soldering these guys here. So we have S bus here and we have motor one, two, three, four, so that's perfect beta flight orientation. You would ground here, signal here, and your positive here, that would go to your ESCs. So that's nice, we do have a USB, which is mandatory now, and we have a boot button right there. So this is version 3.6, I've never seen version one or two before, so uh, that's something to know. And it does have these cutouts here that I have no idea what they're for. Are you supposed to put like a battery strap through here if you had to? Uh, but uh, I would never do that it could just rip component off. So maybe they have some kind of use But uh, I really don't know what it could be Maybe ventilation to keep it cool or something, but yeah, anyways So let's go up here because there isn't many pads up on this guy. All right, so if we take a look here we have UART TX3 so that's UART 3 right there. So we have TX3 RX3 and a 5 volt if you need it. So that's pretty cool. We have another 5 volt. We have a ground and we have a VCC. So this is a VCC right here. Now, if we take a look down here, we have ground out, which is video out. This would go to your VTX. In, this is where your yellow line, yellow wire from your camera would come in to this. Pop through the OSD, pop right out of your VTX right there. And then we have another ground. So this is ground, as you can see right there. And this is UART6, as you can see RX6 and TX6. And here we have a buzzer negative. So, hmm, okay, I got it. So the buzzer, buzzer negative here, and then you apply positive here from one of these pads. So you would have your buzzer something like this because I guess once the negative side switches, that's when the buzzer goes off. So, okay, that makes sense now. All right, and what else do we have here? We do have a current sensor, and that's really it, it's pretty basic. So let's just get its size, its dimensions here, because I think the dimensions are very important for a lot of people, and um, especially if you're going with a frame, that's pretty tight. So we have 49.3 millimeters in width here, Okay, or 49. And here we have 
also 49 so it's 49 by 49 49 by 49 the, the length the length and the width here and let's just see the overall PCB thickness here 1.5 millimeters so the PCB thickness is 1.5 millimeters and let's just get the highest points here measured so it would be this coil here 4.5 millimeters so the highest points is basically this and the bottom here is 4.5 and what I do like on the bottom here you can possibly stick this flush to the frame because as you can see here there is no copper inside the holes that's very good but then you would lose the dampening effect possibly or you could just set the bottom here but now you would lose it I think yeah you would so this is pretty cool um, I'm gonna be using this very soon because this looks like one of the boards that I could actually waterproof other than the F4 flame that I've recently done on the channel so this is gonna be pretty sweet um, I'm gonna be building this very soon I don't know what maybe big quad or small quad but overall I'm really liking this so we do I believe have three UARTs on this board and maybe S bus is connected on UART 1 I'm not sure yet once we hook it up then we will know for sure but overall it looks clean looks nice um, nothing to complain about the job looks pretty soldering looks pretty nice so um yeah well that's all i could really say right now guys um i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it helped someone out there if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and i will see you next time see you guys take care